Okay, so what's up, people on the internet? So today, I'm gonna do a day in my life working at Burger King before I quit. Okay, so the first thing I do when I come in, because I'm a shift mate, I'm an opener, I'll come in and I'll turn on all these greasy, greasy things. Are they pretty dirty? So don't judge me, or don't judge us. I'll turn on everything. This, this warmer is already on little warmers for the meat. The toaster is already on. Since it's cold in the morning, I'll even turn on the broiler. That is our grill that we use. Turn this on. We got some toaster keys. We also have this one where we put the nuggets at. This light has to be on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I also Turn on this oven. Now I have to go into the cooler. Our cooler. And here I'll get the biscuits so that I can prep them. So I'll get these biscuits. Okay, so whenever they're frozen, you get a knife and and we're gonna go on the pan. 12 we Burger is done for croissant, so I only put 12 in the morning because my car really doesn't get a lot of biscuits, what I've noticed. So I'll do what's best for inventory. And what's best for inventory is to not make a lot of biscuits. If you make too many, you're not gonna sell them, so you're basically wasting inventory. And here you just uh, keep the inventory down. You see, the biscuits are now done. So I come over here. I'll hit biscuits on our little thing timer. Put it back in there. And the time I like to keep it at 300 because if you do other stuff, it burns, so I'll just keep it there. Okay, so the next thing you're supposed to do is Burger King does eggs, so you get the little egg molds, which are these egg molds. You get them, and I personally like to spray it down with some. some Spray so that whenever you put the egg, they can come out and they're done cooking, they come out easier. You go and get your egg mix. So, Burger King has their own egg brand, stuff like that. This is the egg brand that we use. Um, it's called Pasteurized Scrambled Egg Mix. Let's check them out before you get them. Okay, so here I am the shift lead and I am the the morning cook yeah we are low staff so um, I have to do this if not business wouldn't start that's kind of why I want to get a job um, I have to do a lot of stuff I also have to prep for lunch which is more so at all so like, why do you think people don't want to work here it's like they pay, they pay okay. You know what I'm saying? It's not the worst pay, but it's definitely not where I see myself in a couple of years. So I know that for a fact I don't want to do this for too much longer. Okay. Okay. So I fill them up, you see? And I'll put them in the oven. So after you put in the egg into the oven, you gotta get the sausage box because we, we sell a lot of sausage here in the morning. You know, we have a free baked menu, so we sell a lot more of. So I take I think this is back in there. Back in there. So this is our. Um, freezer, we have nuggets, we have fries, 
hash browns, onion rings, anything you can think about. We have it here at this McDonald's, Burger King, I mean. So, so we get sausage, cooked sausage patties. We also get um, French toast sticks because we also sell French toast sticks in the morning. Um, I'll get whatever we need out, you know what I'm saying? In the sausage. Cut it open. Can you get it? I'll do the whole bunch because we use a lot of sausage. Okay. So I'll get this one. I'll drop them in there. I try to drop them all in like this order because if not, they'll they won't cook right. So you drop them first. You hit sausage and you just put a timer to cook. It's really fast. Um, you switch out the buns. You run out the, the lunch buns out. You get the socks, which they did not refill. I'm also not gonna do it. But you get these. So once you made it to this point and you prep everything, turn everything on. You um you're ready to start making sandwiches because I'm also the the cook for the morning, so um the first one here, the person who gets everything ready. I definitely don't feel appreciated here. Okay. I know that's an Amy job. Alright, so this is usually in a bin, but I just haven't gotten it yet. So what you do is... So you get cheese. And then you get egg, and then sausage, and then you wrap them. But I am still waiting on the egg. Still cooking, along with the biscuits, so... Okay, right, so what I do next, everyone's experience at um, Burger King is of course different, you know? We all do different stuff. If you're a shift lead, you might do this. If you're a different shift, I don't know what you'll do because I'm an opening shift, so um, that's why I do all of this. Um, it's not letting me log in to the RTI. I'm not sure why it's not letting me log in, but usually I'll come in and I'll count the safe. So this is our safe. This is all the doors. And that's the safe money. They left it open this morning, but yeah. So this is what I'm supposed to log into. But it's not working. So whenever stuff like this happens, what I do is I'll text our group chat and I'll ask them what is up and somebody will usually get back to me and tell me what's up with it so i can do this you know what i'm saying so i'm going to the group chat it's a whatsapp chat not sure why they use whatsapp but they use whatsapp um and they'll let me know what's up and i'll count the money but since i am since it's so early i'm just gonna wait on that and i'm gonna count a drawer so the way i count the drawers are Okay, each drawer is supposed to have 125, so there's a 50 in here. Is this real? It is real. Oh, it is bro, bro, what the fuck? Let me fix that. I'm gonna tape it together with some of these. Okay, oh, 
it doesn't fucking work. But I think 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 100. So, and then I go with 110, 120. Five, 125, yay! Okay. Okay. So this is gonna be the drawer that I'm gonna use for our drive-through and front counter. We usually don't have enough staff to open the front counter, but if we have these regulars that always come in, so if our regulars wanna come in, I'm gonna let them come in because we depend on them you know what i'm saying sometimes like sometimes we don't get busy at all and they'll be the only ones that come in and buy and so i appreciate people who do that since burger king doesn't have a bank we're always out of change and the whole world is short staffed on fast food restaurant workers so be patient with people Okay, it's annoying whenever you go to a restaurant and fucking people who want to order are rude as fuck. Like, hell no, don't do that shit. So I have to switch out this 50 though. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's $50 that I'm switching out. I'm putting my dress. We have two 20s, which I also need to switch out. I don't know why everybody else doesn't do this before, but they should, but they don't because they're fucking lazy. Okay, I'll put these 20s back. I'll put these 50 back in here. They should have deposited this into the dumb bar. Okay. My first year is counted for. My second door. So there is 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105. So I know that 105, I know I need 115 left. One, two, three, four, five. That's the end. One, two, three, four, five, six. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 125, yes, alright, like, they're usually wrong, y'all, like, other shift leads are not it, like, they don't know what they're doing sometimes, and I mean, I don't blame them, people, whenever you're ready to go, you're ready to go, you know, but still, you have to do your job right, at least do this right, so that you can, um, you know, like, make the next person's job easier, because we're a fucking team, bro, like, that's why I don't get, people don't understand. So I'm gonna switch out the 20s. 10, 20. 10, 20. 20. 20. 20. Okay, so now my two drawers for front counter are ready to be used. That is, um, the oven calling. So let's go check up on that. So when everything is not beeping, it's because you need to turn it off. You check. Let's uh, make this look motherfucking good. Get a glove, mate. These are fucking disgusting. People here don't know how to take care of things, so that's why we don't have nice things. Ooh, bitch, these biscuits look good. Hell yeah. And these are the eggs, you see? They're not done cooking. So I'll just leave them in there a few more minutes and I wait. Since our six o'clock person isn't here yet, I'll go ahead and start tea. Burking tea. If you're from like the south, if you're from the south, you probably drink sweet tea. You're not from the south, so you probably don't drink sweet tea. So um, we get a tea bag, we put it in here, and we start brewing. And Burger King's secret is 
they add a whole bag of sugar to the tea. Yeah. That's why it's so sweet and so like delicious to everyone. I don't like sweet tea, but to those who like it, sweet tea for you. So this is brewing. So you also gotta make coffee. Dump out everyone's last night. Lazy um work that they didn't do. Um put a coffee filter in here. You get you one of the the BK Joe coffee. Open it. Open it up. Get your coffee mugs. Set them up right there. So you set them up. Put them in there and then you hit brew. They usually already be on by the time you come in here. So that's the best part. These are our screens. That's on lunch. That's on lunch. This is our lunch. Our screens are different from McDonald's because if you didn't know I used to work at McDonald's, so they're a lot more complicated. But definitely easy to get the hang of. It's not complicated at all. Our screens are very dirty. People here are dirty. Okay, so you're probably wondering how I got this job. I got this job because my friend was working here who I used to work with at McDonald's. She became the general manager and the month that I applied was the month that I got back from Mexico and I really needed a job. And they say everyone's hiring. Not everyone is looking to hire you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, everyone is hiring. And although everyone is hiring, they're not necessarily looking to hire you. So that's why I took on this job at Burger King because I couldn't find anything better and faster at the moment. I used to work at an eggplant and I was gonna go back to work there, but when I left that job, um, I didn't let anybody know. And well, I did let a few people know, but what I, most people that I did let know, I didn't let like the employee people know, like the supervisor, I let the general manager know and I let the HR girl no that i was gonna leave because y'all i was depressed and i got myself in this hole emotionally and working there and the schedule they gave us was making it worse for me so i left and when i when i, when I heard that they were talking shit about me that i didn't do my job right and stuff like this i decided that i wouldn't go back because when I do a job, I do it right. You know what I'm saying? I'm that employee that you want to have because I do it right. Like there's no in between. I'm gonna do it right. I might fuck up, but I'm gonna do it right eventually. You know what I'm saying? With correction and stuff like that along the way. But yeah, that job was not understanding of that. And I do appreciate people at the time who let me go and were telling me that it was fine, that I should go ahead and do it. Thank you. Um, you might never be seeing this. Thank you, I appreciate that. And people's kind words, I do appreciate it. But I'm always gonna put my mental health first. Always. Because at the end of the day, I gotta live with myself. And you don't, so you know. Oh shit, I almost forgot the egg, y'all. Alright. So you see the egg is like um puffed up. That is not a bad thing at all. I just mean the egg is done cooking. Okay. Okay, these eggs look motherfucking busting. You know what I'm supposed to say? Bring them over here. Put this cheese back. Okay, so I'm gonna make a sandwich for you. So earlier you probably put on the cheese on there. the egg with the cooking. So, cheese goes first. Then it's your egg. Then it's your sausage. Then you put the, the sandwich plate on it. These birds are kind of hard because the fucking people never close them, so not really much I can do about it. Hopefully they, they soften up. And there you go. Your sandwich, and you 
tomatoes, sausage, egg and cheese. Sausage, egg and cheese. And that's what you do. The sandwiches here are pretty self-explanatory, especially during breakfast. Breakfast is pretty self-explanatory in any breakfast place that sells breakfast. So yeah, sausage and cheese. And then I'll continue to make them until I'm filled up with six bacon egg and cheese, six sausage egg and cheese, one ham egg and cheese, one ham and cheese. And everything else on the menu is cooked to order because we have a special and everyone usually gets our special. So a good shift lead will go ahead and prepare everything that we have so that when people come and get it, you can just keep it up. You know, you can maintain it stock of that product so that we don't have to wait as long. You know what I'm saying? But the cook to order sandwiches are like the burritos, like Bacon Kings. Um, I'll do French toast sticks cook to order as well because who wants old ass French toast sticks? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, basically I'm a great employee. So you guys can become eat at my Burger King cause, well, while I'm still working here because I'm gonna quit soon. Because I told myself that I don't want to be here too long and I think God is listening out. Okay, so I'm gonna dump the hash brown. Pour them on there. And then you just drop them first. Then you hit hash browns. And I like to shake them because sometimes they will thaw out and they won't be good and they'll be all stuck together and nobody wants that. So you can take it. Okay. So around this time, I will also go ahead and drop um, French toast sticks. I'll just drop five. And if people come and order them, I'll drop them along the way. So people can get fresh product and we can be happy. So you drop the toast sticks. You get you another one of these, cover it up and you hit the timer. Um, hot sausage and, hash and french toast sticks cook around the same time so that's the time for that this one so what i do now is i'll wait for the next person to come in so you know like my service person to come in and um i'll just wait for them basically i'll usually just sit in the office waiting for them and watch the camera so i can open the door for them because i am not about to have my doors open and have some crazy ass maniac coming up in here talking crazy to me. Okay, so we're almost done. Shake. Seconds. Okay, almost done as These don't look fucking good. Like, bruh, what? Who's working today? So, I hope you guys enjoyed my video of me, I mean, I'm being a shake lead opening Burger King. So, it's gonna be my last day next Friday. Um, today is Friday the 4th, 5th of 2021. And, um, yes, I'm excited to move on moving up in life and i hope you guys enjoyed my video like comment subscribe and hope you guys will come with me on my journey of growing up and having a better life